I'm about to change this up. This is the pot that I got for a dollar at the thrift store. I'm still not sure what these pictures on there. Is that a flower with a moon? And then we have this pickle looking thing on this side. It's about to change. I'm gonna put joint compound on it now because you can kind of see where the outline of the moon and the <laughs> pickle and all that other stuff going on. I'm gonna let that dry and then start putting the paint on. I love how it's like messed up up here on the top. It's not perfect. And I'm, I could have probably done it without the joint compound and just use the texturized paint and it probably would have covered it good enough, but just in case. Lots of you are wondering what's going on with our build. I'd like to know too. We're actually waiting on the draftsman to get us back the plans. We switched some things around from what we initially thought we were doing. So it is taking a little bit longer than what we thought for that. And then once we get that, we have to get it approved through the county and make sure it's going to fit on our building pad, get the well going and all, all that stuff. So it's kind of a big waiting game. Another question that I'm getting is why are you doing so many things in the rental, which we're not really doing a lot of big projects here, just mostly furniture refurbishing. We did switch out a lot of the lighting fixtures, which are easy to swap out and we're going to take them all with us, but we just kind of wanted it to be our home while we're here and feel homey to us and just kind of make it our own and do the things that we could with it being a rental. And that's one of the big things that we could do is like switch out the lighting and in the Caseta by Lutron lighting, that's probably another big thing that we did here that we will be taking with us. Trav was like, I'm installing all that lighting in the rental and then we're taking it all to, with us to our new house. And I'm on board with it because it's super convenient to have control of your lighting on your phone. Trav actually just put these Pico remotes from Caseta by Lutron lighting in the hallway and they're so nice to have. I'll show you why. We have a really weird floor plan in the rental here. Like I'm in the, I'm in the living room, kitchen behind me. It feels like our bedroom's like a mile away. If you've never seen it before, this is what the Caseta by Luchon app looks like on my phone. That's the chandelier right above me. And you can dim the lights. You can also schedule things. So this is what I was talking about. You go all the way down the hallway and then up the stairs there at the entryway, then all the way back down the hallway. And our bedroom is at the end of that hallway. So before, these are the Pico remotes that Travis saw. They're just hung with command strips. Before though, we had to turn the light on, then we would come here and turn it off and then turn this one on and then turn it off from there and turn that one on all the way till we got to our bedroom, either that or use a flashlight. But now, since everything's hooked up to Caseta by Lutron, we can just turn on the app and turn everything off from the app. So even if the kids left the lights on and we don't know about it, we can just see that from the app. It's a total game changer, you guys, to have complete control of all of our lights through the app on our phone, especially like when we're coming home, it gives us peace of mind to walk into a well lit house. Sometimes we forgot to leave the lights on. We can just turn them on from the app before we come in. In these Pico remotes, you can actually hang those anywhere you want in your house. Those are hung with command strips. And then he switched those two switches out and this one right here. And then we'll just uninstall them and take them to our new house. Trav said it's super easy. Other than those big things with the lighting, I think that's the only thing we're gonna have to uninstall. Most of the projects I do are furniture refurbishing right now. And yes, sometimes I do sell it. Sometimes I keep it for a while and switch it out if I find something better. I put some darker color on. So when I put the lighter color on, that can show through just a little bit. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I just painted a bunch of colors on it and now I'm going to try to wipe this garden lime stuff on it and just see what it looks like. <laughs> I hope this doesn't totally ruin it. And if you're wondering, there's my painting from yesterday. I actually painted something on it. I'll show you the time lapse and then I didn't like it in this base. So I painted back over it white. It wasn't done when I was done like in the time lapse, but I just didn't think it was going to look right. 